It's time for our Bulldog Conversation. Brad Radisi back with you, and I'm joined by Dr. Denise Gregory, Assistant Provost for Diversity and Intercultural Initiatives here at Samford University. And Denise, we are celebrating 50 years of integration here at Samford, the golden anniversary. We're commemorating it not only this year, but also especially in February, aren't we? Absolutely, we're getting ready and geared up for a lot of events that were happening. Um, in particular, in February, we have so many events that are going to happen for us, um, and there are several that we want to highlight and talk about today. And we'll talk about it, but let's go back in history to 1967. Uh, Audrey Lattimore Gaston Howard, the first African American admitted into Sanford, Cumberland specifically. Yes, in 1967 she was, um, and first student to be enrolled into Sanford University's law school, Cumberland University. Um, there she made great strides and received her JD, and um, we have wonderful archives where we see pictures of her where she's receiving her degree from Dr. Leslie Wright in 1970. She had a great career in law and in politics, and I know recently you tracked down her son who was just elated about this honor, wasn't he? He is so excited when he saw the email from me where I reached out to him. He was so honored to hear that we are celebrating his mother and we are looking forward to continuing conversations with him and hopefully, if at all possible, bringing them here on campus for some events that we'll be hosting in her honor. So we're honoring 28 distinguished alums in February, but you also have a long list of events, not only in the spring, but we've also had a couple so far just a great lineup of events to commemorate this 50th anniversary. Yes, the 28 honorees that we're honoring in February, we're doing, um, they've been nominated by several people across campus, by deans, vice presidents, from our alumni also have well have nominated 20, um, have nominated so many people that are well deserving, but we can only choose 20 of them that we're gonna not, um, highlight for every day of the month of February, and they will be featured on our website and, and our social media and recognized for their contributions to the university as well as to, um, to, to the world and the different things that they've done to promote and better our society. Um, also in February, the Black Law Student Association is sponsoring the Third Grade Marshall Series, and that is going to be a great event also as well that we're going to celebrate um, also with Dr. Billie Jean Young, who is a 1979 graduate of Cumberland Law School, who performs a one-woman show titled uh, Fannie Lou Hamer, This Little Light of Mine, and we are really excited about that event. Good stuff, and outside of that, just you have a great, I think you're showing a movie, all, all kind of stuff that, that these events, if you're, you don't have to be a Sanford alum to, to come to, they're open to the public. They are open to the public. We are welcoming everyone to our campus to visit these events. We have a website that we'll talk about later on where people can find all of our events that we're having for to commemorate this event. And I um, would love to have so many uh, people to join us and celebrate with us. The 28 individuals that, that we'll be honoring, I know you've gotten a lot of nominations. Just talk about some of the, not specifically, but when you look at the list, some of the special contributions that Sanford alums, specifically African Americans, have, have made in, in, in the strides they've made. Absolutely, that list is so remarkable and overwhelming with the accomplishments and the work that people have done in the community. Here at Sanford, what they've done in their churches, just overwhelming and unbelievable of some of the work that we may not have known about if we did not do this event. So we're also grateful for the connections that we have and also ones that we're reestablishing and the new ones that we're forming by um, having people to nominate um, people that have graduated from Sanford and are doing well in our community. So when you see the list, you will be like, wow, this is amazing of some of the work that they're doing in our communities. Just talk about the reception you've gotten from planning this event and, and just some of the, some of the pride that you've noticed in planning this? Absolutely, overwhelming response from um, students, from faculty, from um, employees, from alumni, just from the community as well of one that we are taking the time to actually commemorate this event is um, grateful to see, uh, for people in our community to see and there's been overwhelmingly response of the joy that we have from this. Again, Sanford University celebrating 50 years of integration. It's the golden anniversary we were talking about a big list of events that we have this spring. They're ongoing right now, too. If you're interested in coming, head to samford.edu slash go slash 50th. That'll have the list of all the events, really top to bottom, a solid list. If you want to hear speakers, you want to see events, go to that site, and you'll be able to do it. Denise, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. You've been listening to the Bulldog Conversation.